Look at the marble in that steak. $10. Thick ass ribeyes. I had this in my freezer for a while. But yeah, this is why I don't shop at County Market at all, man. You know? Nice thick ass inch. About an inch. You know what I'm saying? About an inch. Time to get it cracking, baby. We're gonna do it in the in the foodie grill tonight. I love these foodie things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like new to me. I like to get down. So this time I'm gonna try to make a complete video. So first thing I'm gonna do, you know what? I'll show y'all everything. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash my meat off. You know, I've seen people go overboard with it. I've seen my mama put dishwashing detergent on her greens and stuff like that. I don't do all that. I'm gonna just wash it off with water. I've seen people on YouTube wash their meat in vinegar. I'm not gonna do all that either. Because from what I was taught, the heat is what's gonna really um, kill all of the, the, um, the things that you don't want in the meat parasites and things of that nature. But yeah, this meat has been in my freezer for a few weeks. So where I get my meat at, guys, you know, it looks better than this when you buy it fresh and you cook a fresh steak. But you know, I have no problem with freezing my steaks and then cooking them at a later date. So. If y'all, if people are looking at this saying, well, the meat doesn't look fresh. Well, it's not fresh. But I'm going to get it in. Okay. So now I got my meat washed off. Okay, I'm going to go to another video. I know how to, I know how to edit my video now, so let me, let me do that. Okay. I'm going to do this like this, y'all. We're going to do this like this here, guys. Bring out my cutting board here. Now I got my meat. Drain this off. Drain it off my water for my meat. Now that I got that nice and drained off. Um, I want my meat to be dry coming in. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pat it. I'm patting my meat with a little paper towel. Won't hurt it. Oh, I want blood getting all over my counter. Patting it dry with a paper towel. Don't have to be 100% dry, but you know, dry as you can get it, the better. Your seasonings, seasonings are gonna stick a little bit better. You hear me? See that there? Drying it all out, y'all. Okay. Now. Got everything dry. Okay. Now, for my steaks, I, I do not over season my steaks. You know, a lot of things when I'm making different meats and chickens or spaghetti type, you know what I'm saying? I season really well, even my ribs. My steaks though, they already have a good taste, man. You, you can mess the steak up with seasoning. So I don't over season my steak. I put a little Lowry's on there. Sometimes I go no Lowry's. Just depends on how I'm feeling. But I go a little Lowry's when I when I do use it. Salt. I don't usually use a lot of salt on my food. I use my Lowry's. There's plenty enough salt in there. But when I'm when I'm cooking with steak, I like the way that normal salt tastes on my steak. I also hit it with the Chicago steak. This is pretty much. And what this does is it creates that crust on the outside of your steak. 
So I, I, I use my Chicago seasoning. This is the best from what I found out of like, you know, your steak rubs and your steak seasoning. Chicago steak, guys. I like this the most. And I'm telling you, I can go in my cabinet right now. I got about eight different kinds of uh, uh, steak seasonings. I got a, a new one on the way, this coffee based that I can't wait to get here that I've been doing my research on. My pepper, I always use my uh, my grinders for my salt and pepper so it could be fresher. Um, this here, man, I bought this. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so I'm, I'm going to try it. This is um, meat tenderizer. Now, the reason I haven't used it yet is because the sodium in here is already high. It's 480 milligrams of sodium. My Lari's has 380. So I'm kind of, you know what? I'm not going to use this just yet. I'm kind of scared to use this because you mix your meat tenderizer in with Lari's and salt. Obviously, you're going to over-season the food. It's, it's going to be too salty. So I'm going to hold off on that, but here soon I'm going to try my meat tenderizer. I don't think I got to use it. I cook a pretty tender steak, to be honest. Plus, uh, I'm going to throw these on now. So I would use this, my meat tenderizer. I would want to put this on and at least let my steak sit a few hours so it can get down in the steak. So right now is not the time to use it. Okay. All right, man, getting ready to season our steaks up. So I can't really, I'm not a one that writes recipes, so I can't really tell you guys a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you kind of see my shake. You know what I'm saying? Look at the flick of the wrist. Don't miss it. Make sure you look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, season the salt. Like I said, I don't over season the salt my steaks. I, I prefer salt over seasoning salt. So I blend the two about 50-50. So look. Boop, 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 boop. That's all I need. Boop, 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 boop. That's all I need. This steak is slightly bigger if you look at the flick of the wrist. Now, I'm going to finish it up with my Mediterranean. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, you see how I'm coming? Now, my pepper. You can't overdo pepper. You hear me? And my Chicago steak, which also has salt in there. Not too much, though, 150 milligrams. But this this primarily is what I use to, to season my steaks. I really like this. So we're going to put it on there generously. You hear me? We're going to put it on there generously. Because it creates like a crust for your steak. Flip him over. Flip him over. Boop. Nothing wrong with... Nothing wrong with your Chicago steak. Put it on there. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now. I'm going to go with some. That's avocado. That's olive oil. I'm going to go with some olive oil. Bro. Definitely want, I'm cooking a Ninja Foodie. Definitely want the steaks to have some oil so it can heat up properly. You see how I'm painting it on there? I can't really swipe it on there because I should have did this actually. I, I, I recommend you guys do this before you season. So now that I got my seasoning on there though, I'm just going to kind of just dab the oil on there. You see what I'm saying? So I don't knock off all of my seasonings. It'll be fine, trust me. I always do it backwards. All right. So my oil's on there on one side. We're gonna flip them over and do the other side. Always season both sides. Look, not just seasoning. Whatever you do to one side of your meat, I recommend highly that you do it to the other side of the meat. I've seen people cook food and season one side of the meat. I don't know where that came from or who would have taught you that. You want your food to be evenly seasoned. And definitely want both of my sides to have oil. And uh, when I get ready to flip these in the foodie, 
I'm also going to probably spray some canola oil on it if, it, if, it's, if it's looking like it needs it. All right, so let's get this, this Ninja Foodie Grill going. All right, guys, we got our steaks all seasoned and oiled up. Ooh, look at them. They juicy already. Who would eat that like that? <laughs> okay, now it's time to fire up our Ninja. I'm going to show you how this goes, too. Might as well. All right. Mm, I've cooked on this thing maybe once, and it was the bomb. I'm not going to lie. So let's make sure we got her plugged in. Give me one second. Give me one second. Get her nice and plugged in. Let's fire her up. Look at her. All right. I'm waiting for, for something to happen. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do here. We're cooking steaks. If you pay attention to all of the foodie products, they let you know what they recommend, temperatures and stuff like that. So here's steaks. They recommend that on high. So we will be going to high, not max, high. Okay. Okay, there we go. Boom. And we're going to push start. And it's going to preheat. I love this thing, guys. If you can't cook, you need one of these. I can cook, and I love it. But if you can't cook, and you want to make somebody a good steak, make yourself one or whatever, and this thing here, this thing is amazing as well. But, um, okay, so I'm going to let that preheat. And, uh, yeah, we'll be getting back to you when I get ready to put everything on. I got my, this time I'm going to be on point. I have my, I'm going to clean this off. This is my meat thermometer. I plug this in the meat and it lets me know where I'm at. I want a medium rare steak. We're aiming for a temperature between 115 and 130 degrees. All right. So let's see if we can get this right. Yep. Sitting here, letting everything preheat. When it's all preheated, it's going to tell me to add food. getting hot in there, you hear me? This also has the roast, the bake, air crisp, and dehydrate modes. Little Ninja Foodie do his thing. Okay guys, it's all heated up. You see it says add food. So, I'm gonna start out cooking these one steak at a time. Just cause like I said, I don't got a lot of experience on the Ninja Foodie. And I don't want to mess both my steaks up at the same time. So what we're going to do is uh, cook my wife's steaks first. Just in case, you know, just in case we mess up, it'll be her steak. Okay, let me get me some tongs. Let me get me some tongs here. I'm going to open it up. And please. I want you guys to hear this. Um, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna close that real quick. Hold on. Oh, time. It's already on there. Okay, cool. Okay, let's grab him. Listen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My wife, she wants her steak medium. So I'm gonna do about four minutes on each side. So we take him out. <sighs> Take them out about six. And I'll take them out again at about two. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, we got eight more seconds, man. We're gonna flip this steak. It's been cooking for four minutes. My wife likes a medium steak, so let's go ahead and pop the top here. I'm gonna spray it down with canola oil before I flip them. Oh, look at that. Nice and pretty grill marks. Let's hurry up and get it back going. And we're going to do probably another three minutes. Probably another three minutes. All right, guys. Final countdown. Cook this steak four minutes on one side, three minutes on the next. It's my wife's steaks. She wanted a medium. I think I honestly might have cooked it a little bit too long. Like I said, I'm getting used to this thing. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. 
Um, I know I want my steak to be medium rare, but she didn't really want her steak medium rare, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab it here to kind of see see what it's looking like temperature wise. Yeah, babe, you're done. You're definitely done. I gotta get my shit. My steak has to be between 115 and 130. So, that day. Ain't nothing burnt about that steak. That's just a well done steak. You see how juicy it is? Okay, so now we load up and we put the big boy in there. Okay guys, I'm gonna cook my steak now, so I'm gonna take my temperature, take my time back up to 10 minutes. Uh, starting, I'm gonna put my steak in here. You guys gonna hear it? Oh yeah. She's ready to go. Shut my top on there. Man, I'm almost thinking about going maybe three minutes uh, on each side here. So I'll get back to you and let you know what, what okay, guys, I got them counting down. I cook mine three minutes on that side. I'm trying to get this boy medium rare. I need some blood in my steak. Okay, okay. All righty. I need some blood in mine. Oh, look at him. Look at him. All right, three more minutes. Three more minutes, you'll be coming out of that four. Okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to pop him. I think I took mine a little bit too long, too, man. I got to get this thing down packed. Oh, we're going to go over here. I'm going to go over here with him. That's how I'm living, y'all. It's a big old steak, ain't it? Stop the Ninja Foodie. Let's plug in. It's going to tell us. That center. It's gonna tell us where we at. Yep. I overdid it again. But that's okay. Cause we what we're learning. A little bit cooler than my wife's. Hey. So, we got another well done steak. But look how juicy it is. You can't be complaining about that. Got some cabbage to go with the steak tonight. And also some keto friendly macaroni that's been made with uh, uh, cauliflower. And we also got our salads. Avocado in there. Cucumber in there. Mushrooms in there. You know, all the workings. Everybody be blessed, man. Have a good night. When you make a steak and the juice out like that all, all over the plate, man, you know what time it is. That ninja food is the truth, you hear me? Yes, sir. Got a little blood in there. Got a little blood in there. Oh, yeah. Him came out. I'm fucking with it. Excuse my French. Oh, yeah. My temperature was a bit high, guys, but my steak came out pretty pretty medium in there. Really good steak. Juicy. Look at the juice all over the plate. Really good steak. That Ninja Foodie cooks a great steak. And that ain't even the middle of it. <laughs>